Hi everyone, we're going to uh, find the limit using the difference quotient and these are the four problems I'm going to do. So if you already know how to do some, you can just scroll through and find it. Uh, the first one is f of x equals 2x plus 3. So what we're going to do first is uh, plug in f plus delta x, f of x plus delta x. So I'm going to write this down, input x plus delta x, change in x basically. Then I'm going to subtract the whole function, which is minus f of x part, and that's going to be 2x plus 3, and that's all over delta x. And then you merely, and this is the limit, as x approach, as delta x approaches zero. So we're going to distribute the limit as delta x approaches zero, and you get 2x plus 2 delta x plus 3 minus 2x minus 3 over delta x. Now we can simplify this. The 3's cancels and the 2x cancels, so we get limit as dex, delta x approaches 0 of uh, 2 delta x over delta x. The delta x is cancel, so that equals 2. It's a limit of a constant. The next one we have the square root. And so for the square root, we get um, everywhere there's an x. You're going to, let's do the limit part. The limit is delta x approaches 0. So you can do the square root of x um, plus delta x minus your whole function all over delta x. And to clean this up, we're going to multiply by the conjugate. So that's going to be um, x plus delta x plus delta x, <coughs> and that follows the a squared minus b squared rule, so we have a minus b times a plus b, this is all over delta x. So our numerator is going to turn to um, x plus um, delta x, because that squares out minus x all over, whoops, I had to multiply this by also the conjugate, and so the denominator is going to be delta x times the square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x. Now, uh, we're going to get the limit as delta x approaches 0, and these x's cancel, so you get delta x over delta x. I prefer actually um, h, because it's hard to draw triangles on this. So we're going to get square root x plus delta x plus square root of x. Now these cancel, so you're going to get the limit x uh, delta x approaches 0 of 1 over square root of x plus delta x plus square root of x. And then when you input um, the 0, you're going to get 1 over square root of x plus the square root of x, which equals... 1 over 2 square root of x. Okay, now the next one we have is 4 over x. So take the limit as delta x approaches 0, and that's going to be um, 4 over, and everywhere there's an x, we're going to write x plus delta x. And then we're going to subtract the whole function, which is 4 over x. 
All right? Then we're going to, and this is all over delta x. So if I, my common denominator is going to be um, x plus delta x. So when you reduce this, you can get the limit uh, as delta x approaches 0 of 4 minus 4 x plus delta x. All right, I just kind of crossed here. And then the denominator is just going to be, I'm bringing this down. I'm going to get x plus delta x times x, which is common denominator, times delta x. You know, basically what I just did is I just multiplied, if you're, if you're confused about that, I multiplied the numerator and the denominator by my common denominator here, which is the common denominator of those two. All right, and then cleaning that up, we're going to get um, this equals the limit as at delta x approaches 0, and that's going to be negative 4 over x plus delta x times delta x, or just times x, sorry. <coughs> and when you plug in 0, you're going to get this equals negative 4, over x squared. Okay, the next one, we have this one here, so we can take the limit as delta x approaches 0, and that's going to be x plus delta x squared minus 4 times x plus delta x, and then you subtract the whole function, which is x squared minus 4x. I did some simpler ones of these if you're um, not used to this. Anyway, let's clean this numerator up. You're going to get x squared plus 2x delta x plus delta x squared minus 4x minus 4 delta x minus x squared plus 4x all over delta x. And then cleaning that up further, you're going to get the limit as delta x approaches 0. And I'm pulling out a de delta x because what happens is these anything without a delta x cancels out. So I'm pulling out a delta x, and I'm going to get um, 2x plus delta x minus 4 all over delta x. These two cancel. Plug in the 0 into this one here, and that's going to equal 2x minus 4. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.